Joined now by respirologist Dr. Rami Abdel Shahid from Oakville Trafalgar Memorial Hospital. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for having me. Well, obviously, we have a bit of an air quality problem due to the wildfires in the country right now. So I want to check in with you about best practices for everyone across Halton uh, that may be watching this. Are we at the point where people should just be staying inside? Um, you should definitely be checking the air quality uh, forecast. So if you go online, you're able to check the AQHI, which is the Air Quality Health Index. And uh, depending on that, if the index is high, I would suggest, yes, staying inside specifically for at-risk populations. And when you say at-risk populations, uh, what does that encapsulate? So it definitely encapsulates people who I see, so people with lung disease, so asthma or COPD, um, cardiac disease as well, um, specifically also young children and pregnant women. Um, and for those who I see with lung disease, make sure that you're using your inhaler's ther therapy as prescribed um, and check in with your doctors, especially if you're experiencing symptoms. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be tempted because, yeah, we have poor air quality, but it's also generally really nice weather outside. People are Absolutely. going to want to get outside this weekend. Uh, if they do, are there particular activities that maybe we pull back from until this clears up? So, again, it's important to check the air quality. If the air quality is poor when you're going out, um, I would suggest avoiding exercise, outdoor exercise, especially for those at-risk populations. Um, avoid um exercising near high traffic areas specifically, um, limit the amount of time that you spend outdoors, especially for mo those most at risk. Um, you know, try keeping activity levels lower and consider walking in gyms or malls or shopping areas. Now, I know people are not gonna wanna hear the, uh, the four letter word of M-A-S-K, but mask. Yeah. I Honestly though, if you think back, we wore masks for so long during COVID and it brings back bad memories, but in this particular circumstance, would wearing a mask be helpful? And if so, what type of mask? So the short answer is yes, um, masks are helpful. Um, in terms of what type of mask, that's a great question. So, you know, there are surgical masks, there are N95 masks, there are other masks as well. So they are all helpful. Um, N95 masks being more helpful than others. Um, Whatever mask that you wear, it's very important that they're worn properly and they're fit appropriately because no matter what mask you wear, if they're not fit well, they will not be effective. All right. Well, listen, I know you have a lot of people that are coming into that hospital, which you're sitting in right now. I don't want to take up any more of your time, but I thank you for the recommendations and have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much. You have a great day and stay safe.